didn't crack a smile, didn't tell a joke, nothing. And everyone was intimidated until I realized that the whole thing was wrong. And you know what? Now a lot of times, and this is what's amazing, I just decided, look, I'm just, I'm going to love the Lord, but I'm not going to try to be something. And I am most certainly no longer going to try to intimidate people. And you know what? I have found out when a lot of young zealots get to know me, they're disappointed now. They're disappointed. Because they want somebody like that. And they want to be like that. What I've discovered is something completely different. That, that I don't want to be anything more than a human being who has been a recipient of grace. I want to fast and I want to go out when Ricky Young makes those ribs that he makes and I want to eat as many as I can and when my wife goes to the bathroom to change the diapers on my daughter, I want to scarf about four more. I want to laugh and I just want to be a real human being, not some icon of false piety. When you go take a church, there needs to be some separation. They need to know you are a serious man of God. But as Carlton Allen told me one time, a missionary in Peru, he said, Paul, take your ministry very seriously. Do not take yourself seriously at all. And so don't try to be something other than human. Don't be mere men. Don't be carnal. But just be men touched by grace and walk among your congregation in that way. Okay? It's very important. Other thing. One other thing. I, well, Paul said finally a lot in the New Testament, so I'm going to say it also. It's this. Young men... I know Jeff Noblet. Um, we are co-laborers. I sit in his office and talk to him. We go out to eat lunch together sometimes. I don't call him Jeff. He's a lot older than I am. A full year and a half. I don't call him Jeff. I don't even call him Jeff when we're alone. And I don't call Phil Baggett Phil because he's an elder too. Young men, not in my presence, don't refer to any elder in this church by their first name unless you are going to put Elder in front of it, brother in front of it, or pastor in front of it. Uh, recently, not out of not out of you, but I have seen some young men even get up and say, "Well, Jeff and I were talking." It's like I always love it when someone who's met Dr. Piper. Well, John and I were talking the other day. You know, I'm going. Don't don't do that. I don't do that, and it's not because I'm from another generation. You give honor to whom honor is due. If he's an elder, if he's an elder, don't don't call him by his first name. Now you can say like my little boys and call him Brother Jeff or Pastor Jeff. Or, but I even prefer Brother Noblet. Um, and and that goes for all the elders, not not just Brother Brother Noblet. It goes for all the elders, whether they're a preaching, teaching elder or not. Show Respect. It also goes for deacons. Listen, there are a lot of men out there who are not deacons, who have the title of deacon, and it's ruined the respect of the office of deacon. But the office of deacon is to be greatly respected. I remember when I was a little boy, and those Baptist preachers would come through there, and it was 
you know, Elder John, Deacon, you know, so and so. Let's hold on to that. All right? All right. Well, God bless you.